really think beforehand what are their aims and expectations for, for a DFIL. Once they've realized that, then the way I approached the whole application process was to sort of understand that supervisors are on your side and that uh, overall you're aiming to sort of get a good communication with them and come up with a project that is going to work for both sides so that you, you actually can take something out of this uh, graduate course. The first thing that I did was I contacted the supervisors. Uh, they were listed on the website. Uh, and then, I mean, the obvious things, so key deadlines, requirements. If you're, if you're an international student, you want to see those in advance, obviously. Okay, so the big deadline is early January. I think it was 5th or 6th of January for me. But I think the whole application process takes more time. It, I think it would be reasonable to start looking into it early September, October, uh, reach out with the supervisors, uh, so you can exchange with them, find a suitable project, um, and then have everything ready on time for January. Then after that, I think it takes a couple more weeks, potentially a month, for the shortlisting for the interviews. And after the interview, I think two or three more weeks. So you should have everything sorted by mid-February, which is very good because then you can make big decisions quickly. I think that the field in population health kind of puts together good training in epidemiology and good training in medical statistics, put them together, and then while you're training on that, you get to do research on one of the big questions of, of the area nowadays. So I think it has a very intrinsic value in that sense. But then for me, it also had another sort of meaning uh, in the sense that I'm from Mexico City and the department has a big project going on with Mexico City. So, I mean, after reading a couple of papers they published in The Lancet on the New England before I, I came, I realized that this was like potentially the only place I could do research on you know, population from my country, from the city I grew up with. So it really, really made a lot of sense. Um, so that's that. That's why I sort of decided this was just a perfect match for me. The whole college life really, really gives you the opportunity to put a balance into the life and work experience. So yes, you're doing like great quality research most of your time, but you also have big opportunities to do sports, to do social events. They're all organized by the college and college life is really, really enriches your experience. You get to know people from very diverse backgrounds that are doing, I don't know, humanities, uh, arts, uh, maths. And then that really, really is a game changer for me. And then, yeah, and the, and the city is quite nice and it's also quite close to London, so if you like big cities, you, I mean, you won't, you won't feel like, you know, alienated from that. Yeah, it's great. Yeah, come to Oxford, definitely. <laughs>